When I was an undergrad, I thought that the two choices when you became a bioengineer, especially if you pursue a PhD, is that you had to go work for a company um, and do research in a lab or that you had to go be an academic and be a professor. And I thought that that was it, that those were the only two choices. Um, there is not. Um, and having that PhD opens up a lot more choices. Because um, oftentimes I remember being a, a PhD student and hearing, oh, you know, getting the PhD overqualifies you, it limits your jobs, and it doesn't. It just gives you the opportunity to be very technical if you want to be, but also gives you the, um, the proof almost that you need that you're able to lead a team and create something. Um, because that's essentially what a PhD is awarded to you for. It's awarded to you because you have worked on something and have created something that nobody else has created. And that's what a PhD ultimately is. And so you have that proof that you're able to bring to fruition something that you had either designed or created or investigated. A lot of the people that I was uh, even in school with have gone on to do different things. I have a friend that started off doing research in a company, but now she does medical affairs. For example, um, looks at protocols that have been written for um, for products that are about to go out to market. Um, and so she interfaces between the work that was done in the lab and how do you translate that? How do you train people to do the, um, the work that a scientist used to do, um, but is now being um, given to like a nurse to implement or something. I had a friend that did uh, physics and now she works at a tech company where she's developing artificial intelligence and uh, she's managing teams that do that. So you're not just, if you, be, if you get a PhD in biomedical engineering, you're not gonna, your, limp, your option just isn't to be um, this person in a white coat working in the lab. Um, you could find yourself doing different aspects of it. You could find yourself on the, on the teaching of the engineering piece, or you could find yourself on the helping that translational part of it, happen, you know, connecting people that do the research to people that have to then implement or manufacture whatever it is that you created. Um, there's people that have been technical, meaning that they worked in the lab and then rose into management positions. The field that the job that I'm in currently is a little bit of both. I do the research, but I also manage teams of people as well. Um, so having the biomedical engineering degree doesn't mean that you're just going to be destined to be this, you know, dorky scientist in a white coat. It, it, if anything, it gives you the opportunity to work in a lot of different fields.